Well, how do there, chums, as I, Captain of the Steves. And it seems that the No Man's Sky Omega update has gone live. And yes, it is called Omega. It's version 4.5. Let's jump on over into game and have a quick look at this. So here I am over on my PlayStation D5. You can see here on the screen, welcome to No Man's Sky Omega version 4.5. The Omega update invites everybody to embark on a new shared interstellar expedition featuring a complete overhaul of expeditions, new on the planet missions, claimable pirate freighters and much more. A new expedition system allows travellers to join with a bespoke provisions, favourite starship custom multi-tools and return with loot and exciting rewards. This is exactly what we saw inside of the beta sort of testing inside of Steam. New Omega Expedition invites all travellers to answer the call of the universe together. Uh, pretty much the same. A huge array of new planetary missions challenge players with quests specific to alien life form, locale, climate and personality. That's new. That almost reads like we might be getting some sort of procedural mission system. But until I see it, it probably isn't. It's probably something a little bit like what we've seen with the autophages at sort of the echo camps is what I'm thinking, people. But we shall see. I don't know how we go about triggering planetary mission challenges. Need to wait for the patch notes, I think, on that one, people. Defeat pirate freighters in combat and board them to demand control. Yes, we could do that inside of the Steam Experimental. For the first time, take on the universe with a fleet of frigates led by a dreadnought capital ship. Heck yes. Now, I have claimed that over on my PlayStation, uh, on my PC. I haven't done it on, P on um, PlayStation 5, which is this is on right now, people. The update is on PlayStation 5. The Omega update is the best time for players, old and new, to come together and explore the universe. For full details, jump on over to the website. I've been over to the website. The patch notes are not there as yet, people. I think they're waiting so they can roll this out on Xbox and um, good old Switch. But let's have a look, see? Let's see if we can hit it up. See, the expedition isn't there yet. So I don't think this should be on the PlayStation 5 as of yet. Anyway, let's jump on in, because I actually saved on a planet's surface. Now, I'm thinking maybe we might be able to trigger these missions at an archive. Let's see if I'm right there, people. Okay, chums, well, I'm, I'm at a trading post, and I just spoke to this chap. And all the text is in purple, so I thought I'd hit record. But it says 10% complete, 11% complete, 12% complete. I don't think I've ever seen an NPC say this before, so I thought I'd hit record. The core fact is unusually quiet. Only activity series are rhythmical rules made by their visions, blah, 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 blah. Okay, but they're not actually offering me a mission or anything like that to do, but that was a, a very strange bit of dialogue that I saw there. Oh, okay. It's purple because it's the Corvax text, isn't it? Yeah, of course it is. All right, fine. Brilliant. I don't think I'm going to be able to trigger a mission from these guys, so I'm still not sure where we actually trigger the missions from. Um, there we go. I'll just leave there. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I'm going to head on over to a planetary archive and see if there's anything new over there, people. Let's just pop into the old um, the menu here. What the fudge is this all about? What have we got there? Okay, strangeness. Maybe I just need to abandon all of these. Yeah, I think, I think that's from ages ago. Right, let me clean up this anyway. I need to get a clean log. Charms, inside my log I've got something new. Atlas Internal, the Crimson Web. Well, that wasn't there before, was it, people? You know what I should do is fly on up and see if the, the actual space stations have had an overhaul. It didn't say anything about the stations having an over overhaul inside of the old patch notes, did it? But as we know, we did see them inside of the trailer. Let's have a look what the station looks like. I need to go to the station anyway to hit up a station terminus to see if I can get down to my archive base, see if anything's changed there, people. Well, I've arrived at the station, and it was that big blue one that was last time, and it's exactly the same station as last time. The stations have not had an overhaul, despite us seeing them in the trailer. So as Sean said this is going to be a big year, I think they're going to drip feed us the updates through the year, and I think they're going to be rather small, because on the face of it, this looks quite small. It's pretty much what we saw inside of the Steam beta test area, isn't it? I don't think they've added too much on. I mean, I say that I haven't seen these internal missions yet, and without the patch notes and not knowing how I go about triggering them on the planet, I don't think we're going to be triggering them from these guys either. 
Oh, there we go. Green text. Yeah. Okay. And there's there's nothing really there to ha be had, peeps. Okay. I wonder if this guy's had any sort of overhaul to him. No. He's just going to give me... Yeah, accept gift. Thank you very much. And I don't think these guys are going to give us any new missions. I just nicked your plant, mate, by accident. I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, I'm not seeing any new missions inside of there. Nope. Okay, right, fine. Let's head on over here then. And let's just head to a planetary archive. The reason I say planetary archives, they were one of the last sort of planetary structures to be added into the actual iteration. So I go down here. I've got a couple of news desks that I built at archives because I was wondering whether they might get some sort of Viking news desk. We'll go there. That's my Viking archive base. Okay, well, I've arrived located at my archive base. Let's have a little chat to a couple of people here. Let's see if they trigger any new missions. Bum -ba -dum -ba -dum. The only other place I can think of is at settlements. The only thing is I don't think they would implement them at a settlement because Nintendo Switch doesn't have settlements. So that's why I didn't think to go there straight away. Not seeing anything new happening here. No. I mean, if I go to practice language and see if he comes up with anything. No. My Viking language increased. I'm not seeing anything new happening here. What about this local map repository thing? No. Not seeing anything new here, people. I'm really not. And he's a technology merchant. He's not a missions agent. Not seeing anything new here, people. So I really don't know where we're supposed to find the new missions on planet surface. Now that he's given me a gift, let's try talking to him again. See if he offers me a mission. No, I'm really clueless as to how we get to trigger these missions on planet surfaces. I honestly thought it would be something to do with these colossal archives since they were one of the last buildings to be entered into iteration on planet surface. So yeah, not, not too sure. I mean, I can just fly around on a planet and see if I can spot something new. But I, I don't think we're going to find anything. And I think I've just got stuck in the colossal archive anyway. Oh, here we go. We're free. And I can I can zoom around, but I, I have no idea what I'm looking for. That's the problem, people. Till we get the patch notes, which the patch notes are not on the website as yet. I just checked again in between loading into this um, base. Ah, we've got a building over here. Let's head on over. Let's have a quick look, see. Let's got a little um, comms ball there. There's probably a bit of tech or something that you have to use or something. It's probably in something a bit like the Echo's camps is what I'm thinking. I bet you it is something to do with the Echo camps, to be fair. Maybe they've overhauled the missions that the Echo camps give you. I don't know. But um, yeah, I'm not seeing anything overly new in here at the moment, people. Let's have a look at the old, dis the old um, Wonders catalogue. See if that's been expanded upon. We still can't unlock that one. That I, not that I know of, anyway. No. I'm not ever seeing any page twos or anything else appearing here that might be anything special. Hmm. Okay. Uh, well, that's pretty much it, people. I think until we see the patch notes, we're not going to really know how we go about triggering this new stuff. Anyways. Yeah, I... <laughs> I go check the patch notes one more time. Okay, so I'm over on the old Hello Games website. Let's hit on release log and hit news. There's nothing new there right now, people. And I don't think they're bothered doing a trailer for this one because it does seem to be that we've got an expedition along with a few quality of life improvements and a few sort of extra bits and bobs. Just a few more bells and whistles, really, people. A little bit more sort of you know, fluffy dicey stuff. Yes, you can have a pirate dreadnought now. Great, lovely. But um, you know, how's that any different to the actual freighters that we've got now? No, nothing really. It's more cosmetic, isn't it? So and there is that, people. I, I kind of feel if this is anything to go by, which I think, remember my previous videos where I said 
the first update in February is going to sort of set the path for everything else to come in the rest of the year. Uh, I think what they've got is a bigger update. We know they've got the bigger update because we've seen the new station interiors and exteriors in that trailer, yet they haven't been delivered into game. So I think Hello Games has got a massive update for us this year, but they're going to deliver it in smaller sections. They're going to drip feeders um, because they're working on Light No Fire. They need to make the work that they make in No Man's Sky last. That's what I was wondering. So I think it will be a big year, but I think it's going to be delivered in small sections, people. So um, there you are. Sound up in the comments. Let us know if you feel that's fair. Maybe I'm being unfair. I haven't seen the patch notes yet. I might have to reel this back in and recast it back out. But we shall see, peeps. I've just got a, I've just got a strange feeling on this one. Anyway, until next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.